Lord, I call upon thee, hear me, hear me, O Lord. Lord, I call upon thee, hear me, receive the voice of my prayer. When I call upon thee, hear me, O Lord. Let my prayer arise in thy sight as incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand, but there is forgiveness with thee. O creation was changed by fear when it saw thee hanging on the cross of Christ. The sun was darkened, and the foundations of the earth were shaken. All things suffered with the Creator of all. O Lord, who didst willingly endure this for us, glory to Thee. For His mercy is confirmed on us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Today the Master of creation stands before Pilate. Today the Creator of all is condemned to die on the cross. Of his own will he is led as a lamb to the slaughter. He who fed his people with manna in the desert is transfixed with nails. His side is pierced, and a sponge of vinegar touches his lips. The Redeemer of the world is slapped on the face. The Maker of all is mocked by his own servants. How great is the Master's love for mankind! For those who crucified him, he prayed to his Father, saying, Forgive them this sin, for they know not what they do. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. We see a strange and fearful mystery accomplished today. He whom none may touch is ceased. He who loses Adam from the curse is bound. He who tries the hearts of men is unjustly brought to trial. He who calls the abyss is shot in prison. He before whom the host of heaven stand with trembling stands before Pilate. The Creator is struck by the hand of his creature. He who comes to judge the living and the dead is condemned to the cross. The conqueror of hell is enclosed in a tomb. O thou who hast endured all these things in thy tender love, thou hast saved all men from the curse. Oh, long-suffering Lord.